training and we offer a seven part e-course, I give loads of articles away and this video today I'll be splitting into little videos and I'll be giving it to my list saying look all this free content and they're thinking oh right that, those Sandersons are nice people, building trust, we're going to come on why we're doing that in a minute because you're, you're losing that huge opportunity for sales if you don't do this. So once you get them on your list I hear most photographers say, well I've got nothing to say to them, how can I keep in contact with them, I've got nothing to tell them. You've got loads, if you set up, set up a monthly newsletter to all your subscribers, not your buyers, that's a different thing, a monthly newsletter, you can tell them offers, you know, 20% off our portraits, if you book by the end of June 2011, it has to be done this week, immediate urgency call to action, okay. Your monthly newsletter should be plastered with your photographs, okay, really good photos, and they're constantly going to be bombarded in a very subtle way by your emails. Now, if they're just going to get married next year, who are they going to pick? Are they going to pick a photographer that they've never heard of before? Or are they going to pick that photographer that keeps emailing them, keeps sort of subtly reminding, keeps showing the photographs off? But always think about what's in it for them. Don't think, oh, I want to sell some, I want money in my pocket. You're dead in the water if you think that. What you need to be thinking is, I want to offer my subscribers value for, value for nothing. You know, if I, once I start thinking, put myself in their shoes, don't think about money for you. Think about what you can give them. And the more you give them, and the more you give them, the more they trust you, and the sales will just come. We've seen it, and we've done it. Okay. So, trust is the biggest thing you can get your clients and your subscribers. There's thousands of people still looking for wedding photographers, but unfortunately, there are thousands of wedding photographers. The competition is massive. It's so easy now to get digital SLR and learn how to use it. Years ago when it was filmed, there was less wedding photographers around. Now, everybody wants to be a photographer. There's loads out there. You have to be clever. I still think it's business, but it's harder to get. You have to be extremely clever. So, what can you give them? A monthly newsletter, tell them about your offers, call to action on everyone. Do a report on, you might think this is strange, but seven great ways to take photographs of your kids on a monthly newsletter. And you'll think, well, no, that's taking business away from me. It's actually not. If you do a report on seven great ways to use your digital camera to take photos of your kids, what's that going to be the psychology behind this? That, that person's going to think, well, they're a photographer, but they're telling me how to take pictures of my kids. They'll never take them as good as you because you're going to be showing your photographs off. They won't be able to throw the background out of focus and enhance them in Photoshopping, all these fancy things. Um, but you'll be giving them a few tips and tricks on how to take great photos of the kids. Build that trust and um, how to take better holiday snaps. Um, all these different things you can do really quickly and easily. A quick report, or you can get somebody else to do it for you, which I'm going to come on to. But you've got lots to tell them. But not only that, viral videos. Now, we're just starting to use viral videos. It's quite, quite a new thing to us. Stephen came across one the other day. What was it called? Dancing? Uh, Dance Around the World. Dance Around the World. Absolutely brilliant. It's this guy who travels each country. He's travelled for a year. He goes to each capital city, he gathers masses of people, and they start dancing in a YouTube. square on the steps. Yeah. It's on YouTube, millions of views, nothing to do with photography. But it inspired me, it made Stephen laugh, it made kids laugh. So you send these viral videos, it doesn't have to be to do with photography, it's content. You're making your clients go, well look, that, that photographer sent me this video, look. You then may send it out to others, but you get noticed. Because half the battle is getting people's attention. That's such a rare thing. I mean, if you can get people's attention, you've cracked it. There's millions of photographers out there, and they just can't get the attention. So they're dead in water. Your, your job is to get people's attention. So viral videos, um, seven big, again, you don't have to have your seven biggest mistakes as bait to sign up. It could be a report you give, seven biggest mistakes. You can do interviews with people, interviews with clients. So can I interview you while you know, we're talking about our wedding? And you can do videos of yourself doing a wedding. Send videos of them, put them on your blog, or look at this video of me last week doing a wedding. They can see you in action and they think, oh, well, that's that sort of lady that does a photography. She, she handles people really well, doesn't she? Go look at this, she shows her husband. And I can really imagine her spending a whole day with us. She's really good, or he's really good. Videos of yourself, um, articles, interviews, it's your imagination. I've, we've had to be creative in what we give, but lots of things to give. Now, you can eat along the way. You're not doing this for nothing, at the end of the day you're trying to give them loads of content, put yourself in their shoes, but you have to be thinking obviously about making sales as well. So you can do articles, interviews, viral videos, um, 
on the monthly newsletter, keep showing off yourself, you can even put recipes on there. Anything we all use recipes. But along the way, you want to be selling, selling yourself, okay? So, you can sell your wedding, wedding and portrait photography. You can say, yeah, Mr. Are you, have you booked your wedding yet? Um, have you had a baby yet? All these sort of things in, in a subtle way. I'm, you can tell me you're introducing a baby club. Now, photographers tend to do a wedding, and then that's it, end of story. They've finished, and that's the end of the client. Bye-bye, there's your photos. See when you've had a baby. You've got to keep in contact with them. Now, your messages on your autoresponder are going to be different to your clients than they are to your subscribers. So it means tweaking your newsletter for your existing clients because they've already done business with you. It's going to be slightly different. You know, you can introduce the idea of baby clubs. Now, what better way for a photographer to have consistent income? I see so many photographers, one month they're skin, the next month they're okay, next month they're really in debt, next month they're scraping by. You need to get it on a level plane. So things just an idea, baby clubs, right? So somebody's just had a baby, you could offer them a club to join, but there's only 20 allowed, and it's quite an exclusive club here. So only 20 is allowed, and each year you're going to photograph their child as she goes up to 18. So it becomes almost like a necessity for that mother every year. Oh God, we've got these photographs. It's, we really need it because it's going to be a big gap in their child's life. But every year you can offer a further discount. Like it's going to be 20% off the first year, 30% off the second year, off a frame print. But I'll get a set of a baby club, make it exclusive. So I'm already taking 20, so make yourself seem exclusive because there's so many photographers out there. And sometimes the higher your price is, the more exclusive you are, the more business you can get. So lots and lots of ideas, and I could spend a week talking about this, but I've got one hour. Okay, so the biggest thing is get onto Aweber. I do some free training on Aweber. If you join up to my list, you will get the free training, and it tells you it's a dollar to join. And Aweber has got great training anyway, but you've got to go on the webinars, you have to be there at certain times of the day. And I was trying to do it around three kids, I was trying to lock the door and keep them out, and it had to be at certain times of the day. So. I've done three videos, it's about an hour of training on Aweber. It's not scary, it's really easy, but you just need to get your head into it. You basically set up your messages, I can't get on the internet to show you, but you set up your messages in a series of they're called follow-up messages, and you write them, you don't have to keep writing them every week, you write them all in one hit, or you can get somebody else to do that for you, which I'm coming on to. And once that person signed up to your list, you can make as many lists as you want. I suggest you have one list for buyers and one list for your subscribers. So those subscribers, some of them, hopefully many of them will turn into customers. And then you set up these messages automatically, and they just automatically go at certain times of the day. You specify it to go four days after the first, three days after the next. You specify it all, very straightforward, and it just chuck down to people. Okay, you can update them, you can add them, you can delete them as you grow and grow and grow. Aweber is a must. Okay, so.